Direct Action Everywhere activists are facing up to 60 years in prison on charges of theft, burglary, rioting, and a weird and odd mysterious uh, pattern of unlawful activity. Again, what we're seeing here is, you know, industry and law coming together to make an example of activists who are just trying to do something uh, that helps to reduce the amount of harmful misconduct that takes place with animals. And instead, we're, you know, we're making an example out of them and stating, you know, don't do this in the future and let's hide this information and what's going on from the public. More on this story, check it out from the activists themselves. I and four other activists are facing up to 60 years in prison for rescuing a dying piglet from a Smithfield farm. Lily was one fifth the size of the other piglets and starving to death when we found her. We took her out of there, gave her a bath and a family. And her story was told in the New York Times. Smithfield was furious about this and now has convinced the Attorney General of Utah to charge us with burglary, theft, rioting, and most mysteriously, a quote, pattern of unlawful activity. Let's get that straight, folks. A factory farm tortures 1.2 million pigs on site every year. They pollute the water, put carcinogenic drugs in the food system, and we, we are the ones engaged in a pattern of unlawful activity for exposing them. In rioting, gosh, I don't know about that. This doesn't really look like rioting to me. Neither does this. So what the heck is going on? In short, this is a political prosecution. The complaint makes clear that they're using Lily as a pretext for stopping us from showing you the truth. They hardly even talk about the pigs we rescued and instead talk about the videos we produce. They want to throw us in jail for 60 years because they want to stop the public from knowing that truth. What they don't realize is that the people of America are not going to allow that to happen. In fact, 50% of Americans support a complete ban on slaughterhouses. It's true because Americans love animals. And if you're one of those Americans, please let your voice be heard. Sign and share our petition asking the Utah Attorney General to go after animal abusers, not animal rescuers. And let's create a world where every little baby is safe and free. So if you wanna help these guys out, you can actually sign their petition. If you go to directactioneverywhere.com and scroll down just slightly, you can sign the petition if that's something that resonates with you. Again, people need to sort of stand up and say, hey, we're seeing what's happening. We're seeing through the illusion. You know, what's going on here is we're trying to hide information from the public and stop us from seeing what's going on in order to protect an industry. And that's just something that we gotta say, we see, we understand what's going on. You don't have to be angry about it, but sign the petition, take some action, and let's move forward.